Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to the Evolution. No, 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 no. Deadly Premonition 2. Last time. I don't... I don't know. Well, those game signs over here, though. Well, let's give her a wyvern spot. Like $2,200, which I'm so unused to seeing. Lakane Water Tower number 14. Interesting. There's 14 other water towers. This thing sure looks tall when you look at it up close. But why do they gotta build it up so high anyway? The height gives them the necessary pressure to pump the water out. Also, building it in a spot where anyone could easily access it would only create more problems. Problems? In a certain Missouri town, they built the water tower low enough that a person could easily climb up to it. And that's exactly where a mass murderer decided to hide the bodies of all his victims. The water tower was so low to the ground that he could even climb up to it while carrying a dead body on his back. Bruh. Incidentally, they ended up finding a total of 43 bodies in there. But the part that truly shocked Zack and I wasn't the number of bodies, Patty. What? It was the fact that over the six months from the first murder to when the case was solved, that whole time, the townspeople had been drinking the water. Oh. Agent York, look, I think we can climb up from there. Let's go. But, Patty, I was just getting to the good part. Uh, we don't get to what the Red Sea's found at the foot of that. I guess not. That's a weird, bizarre sequence that they just kind of. So this is our town. Looking down on it from here, it's hard to imagine any bad stuff ever happened at all. Listen carefully, Patricia. You just leave Melvin to me. I what? promise I'll take care of things. Huh? You're grown up. You're more of an adult than anyone else in this town, I guarantee it. But that doesn't mean you have to suffer through everything without ever saying a word about it. Just remember that, okay? What? Squirrel? Zack, it looks like the Holy Allah hasn't been sucking up water properly. No wonder the shower in our hotel room felt so weak. Patty, who manages this water tower? This is Lucare. You should know the answer to that by now. The Clarksons. Judging from their current situation, I don't think they'll be able to give us a timely response. Yeah. Uh, oh no. Do you know where the water comes from? Probably Isaac Lake. That settles it. Let's fill the Holy Allah and solve this problem ourselves. I knew you were gonna say that, Agent York. But why? <sighs> Head to Isaac with what the tank. Okay, I'll see you there in a second. I knew it. Don't mind your here. There's definitely a connection here, but he's a bit too old. Scatman's more of a. Okay, so Isaac Lake is the waterworks. <laughs> Isaac Lake. That's the name of the former head of the Clarkson family. Fair. When he retired. 
They built this lake to commemorate his career. That's why it's called Isaac Lake. Makes too much sense to me. They wanted people to remember the power of the Clarkson family every time they used their water, huh? You sure don't miss a beat. Yeah, he does. The water level's higher than I expected. They probably haven't been out here to check on it since Lise was murdered. I bet that's where the water gets sucked up into the water tower. Now let's go to it, because that's what you're going to say anyway. <laughs> oh, an alligator. Mr. Alligator, never thought I'd have to use you to fight a real alligator. Just what does that skeletal gentleman have in mind for us, Zack? Do I really have to kill the alligator? Oh my god. Ah. Oh! There's more than one of them. Okay, I'll try this again. Okay. Alligator Big Man. The Navy SEALs was the play. Making it look a little bit higher than it really is. Ooh, that's right in the, uh... Open the door, Patty! <laughs> now, Patty! Bad for that gator a little uh. bit. You don't have no eye. Holy cow, there's gators for days. Hey, a save point. We haven't used one of these in a hot minute. What else have you seen on that sci-fi movie channel? Agent York, why are you asking me that? Discussing movies is one of the most basic forms of communication in our country. What time period do you live in? It's always been that. Oh my gosh, well, York. You and your freaking movies. Operate. Now the last thing we need is a rabies filled uh. alligator, which I feel like we're gonna get. I can see a red shirt. Whew. Okay, Zach. Let's head back to the Holy Allah. We need to confirm with our own eyes that we've completed the skeletal gentleman's oracle. Wait. That's that's it?
Uh, I'm a bit confused because I didn't see that. Were there items up there that I just completely missed? Or are they over here? Bullfrog leg. Oh! Uh, well? I can eat. I can. All right, Navy Seal. Okay, that was a lot easier than I expected. Like, way too easy. I probably can't get through here, though. Nope. All right, I'll see you guys back there in a second. But they don't slither along the ground. York's train of nonsense babbling is very interesting at times. Allow them to soar above the rest. But now, those wings are starting to fail on them. That's what really triggered this incident. After acquiring wings, the serpent attained prosperity and was crowned in glory. But now... Yeah, that's enough with that. Anyway. I wonder what we're even shooting for here. Zach, the holy Allah is filling up. Looks like we'll be able to take a warm, invigorating shower tonight. Yay! Patty, are you okay? Um, no. Not really. Oh. Worried about your parents? Well, of course I am. My mom is sick, you know, and she got even worse starting about a year ago. She used to be so beautiful, but now she looks like a completely different person. Oh. She can't even get up out of her own bed no more. I'm sorry to hear that. I already hurt you once in the past, and now it looks like I've gone and done it again. No, I know Mama's illness ain't your fault, Agent York. That's right. It's more about Daddy. He... He what? Nothing. Just forget it. Now I'm more interested. Hey! Y'all get down from there right now! Hey, Danny's fine. I said get down here, goddammit! Hmm. The heir to the Clarkson legacy has come for a sec. And he doesn't sound very composed. What was it, this truck one? Okay. Well, I can do that. You rotten little snake! This is private property, goddammit! Uh, I guess you really do! <laughs> I could arrest you for drunk driving, but I simply haven't got the time. What? What did you say? Ever since you got here, my whole family... <sighs> now they're all dead. You're Satan. You came here to destroy the Clarksons. You destroyed them. Satan. Satan? Not quite, Daniel. I'm just an agent carrying out a mission in accordance with federal law. On the contrary, I came to put a stop to all these problems. You might even consider thanking me for it. Federal law. <laughs> Mission accordance. You know, it's hilarious with him saying this right now is going on currently with today. For example, today's the day I'm recording so, uh, the FBI raids at Trump's place. And hearing this is like the whole speculation of everything, which makes things kind of funny to me. We're not getting into that. I'm just saying how ironic it is with him with the whole what's going on today. <laughs> what the heck, Danny? Did you hear that? Bastard wants me to thank him. <laughs> I, I lost everything. My treasure. <laughs> At least my old baby girl. I, 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 I don't know. 
I don't know what I'm gonna do now. You reap what you sow. God damn it. Whether you like it or not, you're the new heir to the Clarkson legacy. You could rebuild their empire or resign it to the ravages of time. Do whatever you like. But you'll no longer be able to borrow a certain someone's power and march around like you own this town. You need to accept that and prepare to survive. He's got a point. <sighs> Zack, it's no use. The skeletal gentleman is a strict one, that's for sure. We're going to have to figure out what the giant lady's finger is if we want to continue on with this oracle. Lady's finger. Lady's finger. I'm at a loss, Zack. The only thing that comes to mind is a certain lady in glasses who displayed her middle finger to a truck driver. What the heck? The student driver who was driving the car that Leslie Nielsen jumped into in order to chase down a criminal. The freak. 1988, directed by David Zucker, The Naked Gun. That car chase was terrific. It felt like we were watching one of our own car chases from the real world. That director must have gotten some advice from actual police officers. Otherwise, there's no way he would have been able to film such a realistic chase. Hey, Agent York, can I say something? If you're looking for ladies' fingers, you know that's another name for okra, right? Another name for okra? Yeah, okra's pretty common here in Louisiana, so most people know about its other name. Huh. Okra. My talented assistant strikes again. You solved the oracle instead of me. Let's hurry over to the okra farm at once, then, and find the biggest piece of okra while we're at it. Hey, Agent York. The key word is giant, so it must be rather large. I'll bet it looks positively grotesque, Zack. And just imagine the stickiness. Oof. I think I'll refrain from taking a bite. The freak? Hey, Agent York! Our town doesn't have an okra farm. No? Okra farm? Relax. Just follow me. I reckon I know where we're supposed to go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, come on. Game. We just did this. I don't deserve this. We literally just did this with the stupid dog last episode. Why are we doing it again? And how she runs is kind of funny. And she's just flailing our arms around. <sighs> Should I make you suffer? I'm kind of leaning towards it. Uh. The freak are you doing? Daddy, you should just got a skateboard. Would have been easier and faster. I'm not doing this to you twice. So you know what irritates me even more? Watch. Not that way. Stay focused. Instead of restarting the mission, she stops you. This game, I swear. It's inconsistent for all the wrong reasons. Like, why couldn't they do it at the Dalmatian spot? And why couldn't we just get the freaking wyvern to take us where we need to go? Not the farm spots, I want a truck, vehicles there. 
One of each. But why couldn't we just tell her the Oracle to find the giant lady's finger? She would have told us a long time ago. But no, we have to do it this way. Sail! This is the third farm supply I've seen here. Wait, what? Oh! I can't expect that. Wait, what? This is a bridge. This is the giant lady's finger. Okra boy. What? He's kind of like the town mascot. Okra boy. You're right. No matter how you look at him, he really is a giant lady's finger. But, Patty, there's no okra farm in this town, is there? She just went over there. That's that. right. Then why did they choose Okra for the town mascot? Good question. He's been here for as long as I can remember. Daddy said he remembers Okra Boy being around when he was a kid, too. The plot thickens. Hmm. Zack, doesn't it look like he's pointing at something? Yeah. Let's follow that white glove. Patty, that's it. The toll booth thing, the bridge thing. Draw bridge control room. Okay. The... No. What was that? So this used to be the control device for the drawbridge, but it looks like its insides have been replaced with something else. Oh, yeah. I remember Daddy telling me about this. This drawbridge hasn't been used for decades now, so the control room doesn't work, and the power's been disconnected. But it looks like the power's on right now. A password that requires three letters? Looks that way. What's this, then? There's an H on the top, bottom, and left sides of the leftmost panel. Patty, trial and error won't get us anywhere. There are 26 letters in the alphabet which makes for 17,576 different combinations if we use three of them. The freak! Let's try something more efficient. I know that. I was just fiddling with it. So, what do you want to try, Agent York? Just leave this to Zack and I. Well, I'm glad, but... Zack, this password may look complicated at first glance, but you needn't worry. This is a chemical formula. A challenge from Professor R. The H that's tattooed all over the leftmost panel stands for hydrogen. In other words, the leftmost panel represents the molecule you get when three hydrogen atoms merge. All we need to do is figure out which chemicals go in the remaining panel. Try reviewing what we know. We spoke to the 17 comrades who saw the birth of New Orleans, filled the Holy Allah, then found the giant lady's finger pointing toward the entrance to the Forbidden. After we met the 17 comrades, we encountered that ominous red tree. There was sap dripping out from the red tree's trunk, wasn't there? That must have been a metaphor for wood vinegar. Then, in order to fill the holy Allah, we went to the reservoir. The water tower represents a distillator, and the water represents coolant. Wood vinegar, distillator, and water, Zach. Figured it out yet? The chemical formula is CH3OH, methanol. It's got to be C-O-H. 
starting from the left in that order. Methanol is highly flammable and used as the base ingredient in formaldehyde. This has Professor R's name written all over it. That oracle really sent us on a- How? How the freak would you ever figure that out if it wasn't him to ramble about it? Like, seriously? That must be the entrance to the Forbidden, Zack. I mean, it's pretty gated off. Kinda reminds me of the first area of Daily Premonition 1. You can't touch that! Oh, hi, Avery. The smarty pants scientist said no. Avery Smith. Draw bridge don't work no more. The machine's junk. Yup. <laughs> You're right, Avery, but don't worry. I got permission to touch it. Permission? Agent York, you got permission? That's right. Permission from the President of the United States. Uh. The President? Oh, he's a smarty pants. That's the biggest joke you could have told for okay. being above. I didn't see nothing. <laughs> yup. Oh, won't tell no one, neither. <sighs> <sighs> Where did Avery come from? Hey, Agent York, are you really going in there? Yes, I have to, for the sake of the investigation. I'm getting kind of scared. That's a rare word to hear coming from your mouth, Patty. I don't see much in there aside from some overgrown weeds, do you? No, that's not it. I'm not scared of the weeds. I'm scared of what you'll find, Agent York. You don't need to worry, Patty. You're my precious assistant, remember? I promise I'll protect you, no matter what happens. You're, you're just dismissing her of everything she says. Unfortunately, I think we're going to end things off here. Next time on Deadly Premonition 2, we're going to enter the forbid what is forbidden. I'll see you then.